Welcome to this tutorial on the technical challenges faced by radiographers when performing plain radiography on elderly patients. Here are some statistics. Elderly patients accounts for about 33% of all hospital stays, 44% of all hospital days of care, and 36% of the total health care expenditure each and every year. Successful imaging of elderly patients depends upon the radiographer's competence and knowledge of this special population. It is important to recognize that older patients are a diverse group of people who experience some common changes as they age. Older patients are not the same as younger adults and the age-related changes that are present will affect the care provided. The numbers and percentage of older adults are continuing to rise. They are now the core business of the healthcare industry. Being aware of age-related changes will help healthcare professionals to provide sensitive and effective age-appropriate care. As we age, our bodies go through various changes, including musculoskeletal degeneration, reduced organ function, and these changes can impact the quality of the radiographic images taken. One of the challenges radiographers encounter when imaging elderly patients is body positioning. Due to age-related conditions like arthritis or limited mobility, elderly patients may have difficulty holding the required positions for the x-ray examination. This can affect the quality of the images and may require extra assistance or specialized techniques to ensure accurate results. In contrast to younger people, handling of elderly patients is different and usually takes more time. In most cases, elderly patients have to be transferred to the radiology department and may need supervision while waiting. Positioning requires more time, and often patients need assistance. With bedridden patients, more than one person is needed for proper positioning. The ideal imaging test for the elderly is fast and needs few changes in positioning. Fragility is a significant concern when imaging elderly patients. Their bones may be more brittle and prone to fracture making it crucial for radiographers to handle them with care. Special measures must be taken during patient transfers and positioning to minimize the risk of injury and ensure the safety throughout the imaging process. Here are some tips for radiographic position for geriatric patients. You may need to use sponges, sandbags, and cross-table projections. Contracture of the patient's limbs caused by stroke must not be forced into a position. Limited flexibility and mobility present positioning challenges, and cross table laterals might be useful. Foot and ankle exams can be done in the wheelchair. Unlike imaging for the younger patient, which is designed to be completely diagnostic in nature, Imaging older patients should come with a different set of motives. In essence, the goal should be palliative. Any results should aim to improve the patient's quality of life and help them maintain functionality or maximize their level of comfort. Imaging in this population is a delicate balance. You must be sure you're safely investigating treatable conditions without overstepping and causing any undue stress or suffering, and be sure that you're performing the minimum number of tests needed to improve their daily living. Remember that elderly patients may have fragile skin, joint stiffness, and reduce muscle strength. Radiographers should communicate effectively and use gentle movements and adapt positioning to techniques that accommodate their needs. Elderly patients often have multiple comorbidities and take various medications to manage their health conditions. 
Radiographers need to be aware of these comorbidities and medications as they can impact the imaging process. Certain medications may affect bowel movements or vital signs, which can influence the timing or preparation needed for the x-ray examination. Also, elderly patients often have reduced tolerance to cold temperatures. Therefore, radiographers should ensure the examination room is adequately warm and provide extra blankets or layers of sheets to keep patients comfortable during the procedure. Maintaining their comfort and preventing any discomfort is essential to obtaining high quality x-ray images. Effective communication is key when working with elderly patients. Radiographers should take the time to explain the procedure clearly, addressing any concerns or questions they might have. It's important to establish trust and a comfortable environment as it can significantly improve cooperation and overall patient experience during the x-ray examination. Transporting elderly patients from their ward or room to the x-ray department can be a logistical challenge. Radiographers must ensure the safe transfer of patients considering their mobility limitations, any medical equipment they may require, and their overall comfort. Clear communication with nursing staff and coordinated planning are essential to ensure a smooth transportation process. Imaging elderly patients can present unique challenges. Physical limitations such as arthritis or limited mobility can make it difficult for them to position themselves correctly for the radiographic examination. Additionally, age-related conditions like osteoporosis can affect the quality of the images being obtained. Now let's discuss why it's crucial for radiographers to optimize plain radiography for elderly patients. By making the necessary adjustments and adaptations to positioning and technique, we can improve image quality and reduce the need for repeat imaging and minimize patient discomfort. Radiographic positioning techniques for elderly patients require special considerations due to their unique physical characteristics and potential mobility limitations. Let's explore some key points, which would be supine positioning, and in this technique, the patient lies flat on their back with their arms at their sides and is commonly used for chest and abdominal imaging. However, due to mobility issues, standard supine projections may need adjustments such as projective magnification. It may be difficult to use prone positioning on the elderly patient. Elderly patients may find it challenging to lie flat on their stomach. When doing lateral positioning for the spine, the spine needs to be positioned with sponges to make the spine straight. And also what we need to do is if we're doing a decubitus view, give time for fluids to fall and air to rise before taking the image. Oblique positioning or achieving an oblique or lateral position can be challenging due to mobility limitations. Using patient movers and rollers and the patient being moved gently from side to side can help achieve the desired obliquity. Remember that elderly patients may have fragile skin, stiffness, and reduced muscle strength. Radiographers should communicate effectively and use gentle movements and adapt the positioning techniques to accommodate the patient's needs. Elderly patients may find it challenging to maintain the required position for the duration of the exposure. So by using aids and communicating effectively, we can minimize the need for repositioning and additional exposures. Elderly patients may have increased sensitivity to certain positions or movements. By understanding their limitations and making necessary adjustments, we can ensure a more comfortable and pleasant experience for them. There are a few things or considerations to keep in mind when imaging the elderly patient. 
One of the primary is their mobility and also assessment of their needs for the examination. When x-raying these patients, you can adjust exposure factors, use appropriate positioning aids, and you must communicate effectively and collaborate with the patient and other healthcare professionals involved in their care. The first step in communicating with elderly x-ray patients is to build trust. Many of them feel anxious or scared, so it's important to create a warm and welcoming environment. Introduce yourself, explain your role, and assure them that they are being helped and talk them through the procedure while you're performing it. This will help establish a foundation of trust that will make the rest of the communication process much smoother. When explaining the procedure to the patient or giving any instructions, use clear and simple language. Avoid technical jargon and medical terms that may confuse them. Break down complex information into bite-sized chunks and ensure they understand each step. This will help them feel more at ease and enable them to cooperate better. Patience and understanding are vital when dealing with elderly x-ray patients. Remember, they may take longer to process information or ask questions. Be patient and give them time that they need. Show understanding and compassion throughout the examination. By being a patient and understanding healthcare provider, you create a safe space and an effective space for communication. To ensure clarity, repeat and reinforce important information and summarize the key points of the procedure and ask if they have any additional questions. Communication is a two-way process, so make sure to actively engage them throughout the procedure. Each body part requires specific imaging considerations to achieve optimal quality. And Regions of interest can be captured using many different positioning techniques. The factors like positioning, exposure settings, and image processing may vary de widely depending on whether you're doing a chest, abdomen, spine, or extremities. Also, artifacts can significantly affect x-ray image quality. Understanding common artifacts like motion blur, grid lines, and foreign bodies and knowing how to address them through proper technique adjustments or post-processing can greatly improve the overall image quality. Before we get into the strategies of imaging, let's understand why achieving optimal x-ray positioning is crucial, especially for elderly patients. Accurate positioning helps provide clear and detailed images that aid in accurate diagnosis. Furthermore, it reduces the need for retakes, minimizing the exposure to radiation for the patient and the time of the examination. Additionally, proper positioning ensures patient comfort and reduces unnecessary strain. So it's essential to prioritize optimal positioning for the best outcomes. One of the keys to successful x-ray positioning with elderly patients is the effective communication. But before you start the procedure, ensure that the patient understands the process and their role in achieving the ideal position. Obtain their consent and address any concerns they may have. Clear communication builds trust and helps reduce anxiety. It is also important to explain the potential benefits of the procedure to motivate the patient to cooperate. Remember, positive and compassionate communication goes a long way. Each elderly patient may have unique physical conditions that need to be considered during x-ray positioning. Before starting the procedure, assess the patient's physical limitations, such as restricted mobility, joint sniffness, or pain. And this assessment will help determine the most suitable positions and the level of support 
that will be required during the examination. Adapting to the patient's physical condition enhances their overall comfort and reduces the risk of injuries during the procedure. Using appropriate positioning aids and support can greatly assist in achieving optimal x-ray images for elderly patients. Pillows, wedges, or foam padding can be used to support and stabilize specific body parts. For example, using a pillow under the knees can help reduce strain on the lower back. These aids can help maintain the desired position for an extended period of time and minimize discomfort, ensuring accurate imaging results. When working with elderly patients, flexibility in patients are key. It's essential to understand that it may take longer to achieve the optimal position due to physical limitations or discomfort. Communicate with the patient throughout the process, allowing them to take short breaks if necessary. Explain what you're doing while doing the procedure to the patient. For example, I'm going to roll you up slightly on your side and we're going to put a wedge underneath your back to help keep you comfortable. In this way, we can get the better image of your spine. Being patient and understanding goes a long way in ensuring successful x-ray positioning and a positive patient experience. Safety should always be a top priority when positioning elderly patients. Nothing is scarier than seeing an elderly patient propped up on a rolling stool to get an upright chest x-ray. Ensure that the equipment is in good working condition and properly calibrate. Double check that the patient is stable and secure in the desired position before proceeding with the procedure. Here's some quick tips for imaging the elderly patient. Number one is to provide rest time between projections and procedures. Next, avoid the use of adhesive tape, which can easily damage skin. Obviously, use table, pads, blankets, sponges, and handrails. This will increase comfort and compliance. Take time to educate patient and their family, which will decrease the patient and family stress and anxiety. It will also help to increase compliance and satisfaction. Speak lower and closer to reduce background noise when addressing older patients. Remember, not all older patients are deaf, so don't start speaking loud to begin with. Adjust the volume for the patient. Treat patients with respect and dignity. Communicate with warmth, empathy, and a positive attitude. Well, that wraps up this discussion, and we'll talk with you soon.